Hey guys, I had a few questions that uh, were being asked about how to set up the RAID drives in uh, the Alienware M18X, so I will just show you real quickly how it's done. When your computer boots up, uh, you press Control i right away, and you'll get into the Intel Rapid Storage Technology um, RAID Setup menu. And I've already created a RAID, so I'm just going to delete it and uh, show you how to set it up again. Alright, so at the top there it says Create RAID Menu. You'll just hit Enter. And you give it a name. We'll stick with SSD. <laughs> Hit enter. Uh, keep it as RAID 0 if you want that. You can do uh, different options there. Now you have to go to select disk. And you want to pick the two uh, SSDs. For mine are the SAN disk. Um, ID 0 and 1, the first two that are there. And to select it, you simply hit the space bar, and that green uh, icon shows up on the left. So I'll scroll down and hit the next one, space bar. Those two are activated. And just hit enter when you're done. And uh, I'll put the stripe size to 128. Yeah, so you just uh, go down to stripe size. And uh, hit enter, and then you just use your up and down keys to select the stripe size. For RAID 0, it recommends 128 kilobytes, so we'll keep it at that. Then hit enter, and uh, the capacity is already preset. And then you just uh, hit enter again, and it says create volume. Hit enter, it's just telling you that. Uh, all the current data on the disk will be deleted. Hit the Y button for yes. And that is it. Um, I will come back and show you how to select the disk when you're installing Windows again. But uh, that's as far as uh, you have to go when you're trying to uh, set up a RAID uh, array in your uh, M18X. Alright, now we're at the installation part for Windows 7. You just wait for the setup to start. It'll ask you to agree to uh, the terms. It's just got to agree. Hit uh, next. And for this, you want to hit custom um, because you don't have anything to upgrade from right now. We just uh, created the RAID array, so. click next and that is it um, Windows should install and boot from that drive once it's finished uh, thank you for watching